Today on Toy Shiz, it's been five long days that Bonnie Tyler has not left my head. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe Revelation, the Skelligod. You gotta say it like that for maximum dramatic effect. This is part of their Masterverse. Like Black Series or Marvel Legends, now they got the Masterverse. 30 whole points of articulation, and of course it's part of the Netflix original series that will be coming out in July. The trailer just came out. Hey, did you know that Bonnie Tyler sings the song in it? I have had I Need a Hero stuck in my head for five long days. Skelegod right there, Cosmic Lord of Destruction. And on the back side, you get to see all the artwork, all the cross cells, including the little bio. I think maybe skip this if you don't want to, you know, spoilers and whatnot. But um, it, it's kind of fun to have a figure, you know, that you're kind of like, who is this? It's kind of like old Star Wars days. Remember before everything is now a spoiler? Because whatever. And then, of course, you get to see the other characters in the first wave. So you got the Deluxe Battle Cat, you got He-Man, Mossman, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. Those will be out soon as well. Here's the barcode along with the Target DPCI. That's where I picked mine up. If you're wondering, yeah, the box on this is quite large, and I'm a sucker for packaging. So if you're wondering how big it is compared to Marvel Legends, yeah, it's almost a Legends and a half, we'll say. Now keep in mind they are saying that Skelegod is a deluxe Motu Revelations figure, so the standard figures will probably be the box size of McFarlane Marvel Legends and things like that. But it's still pretty cool. I mean, it's a good size box right there. I'm stoked. This is just in time for the official release of June 15th. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe Revelation Deluxe Skelegod from the new Netflix animated series by Mattel. And in opening up the packaging, the backdrop tray is like a rock wall, crack on the wall kind of thing. And then Skelegod, you can see, comes in a typical plastic tray. And bingo bango, when you get Skelegod and his accessories all out of the packaging, yeah, you get a pretty interesting figure. And it's always fun to, one, look at the packaging of a new brand, a new line of toys, look at the figures, see what they've changed, see what they've updated. And there's a lot of great things happening here. But we'll start off with looking at the new He-Man sword, or now it's Skelegod's sword, whatever happened. Pretty much just a gray plastic, nice design to it, a little bit of paint on the handle for the brown. I actually like the way this looks. I like the redesign. It's actually pretty cool. This I really like. It's like this green glow of ectoplasm or skeleplasm or whatever you want to call it, but you can put his hand in there. It looks like an energy blast. He comes with extra hands, both of which are just an open claw hand. And I like the design on this. It looks like he has like armor around the fingertips. So that's interesting, along with a weapon holding hand, like for instance, the sword. And they match up and they look great together. Which finally brings us to Skelegod. And it looks like Skeletor merged with his Havoc Staff and maybe a little bit of He-Man there too with the H on his chest. He's a very cool designed character. That I'll recommend him all day. It's a very interesting looking design. It's cool, you know, it's cool. That's all, that's, that's all I can really tell you. As far as the articulation, it's got, yeah, 30 points of articulation. It's got a great design, very Skeletor look to him. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. He's got like this owl kind of thing or Skeletal or whatever it is. The joints on everything do feel a little bit gummy. We'll just say a little bit in the arms. This is like a rubber right here. It kind of looks like a, a stag beetle kind of thing going on on his shoulders. The neck piece, all the green, right? The clear green plastic that runs around everything else. You would think that that would have been glow in the dark. Why was it that glow in the dark? And if I'm being completely honest with you, the cape is odd. It seems like an afterthought. It's like felt. It's multiple layers of felt and cloth. And it's got little weights right here. These little diamond things are plastic pieces on the cape. It's an interesting design, but I'm not sure that it really works. Like I said, it, it feels like an afterthought to the actual figure. It's not terrible by any means, but I just wish it could have been a little bit better. Maybe cohesive with the figure in totality. Because as it kind of stands, 
it kind of looks like you just put it on there. You know what I mean? As far as the articulation goes, you get this nice rotation from the head, especially with these giant ram horns to him. And it's little divots around the armor actually help they don't hinder that so when you turn it left right up down all that kind of stuff yeah you don't run into it hitting otherwise you know the armor and stuff the armor can be a little bit loose sometimes especially when you move them around in the shoulders so that's kind of a bummer it kind of hooks around his neck i'll show you all that in a minute do you get some nice articulation the articulation i'm totally happy with all day because it works for me and what i like he does not have butterfly joints he has bicep he's got double jointed elbows and i'll tell you the armor pieces on his wrist because it looks like they're probably going to reuse his body and just kind of put armored pieces on it to make new characters it's loose you kind of have to move it down but then you see the blue parts you can move the wrists of course but it becomes loose again so it's a little bit too loose now you do get some nice articulation out of the ab crunch, like the upper rotation, you know, you can get some good stuff going. It won't really rock side to side. It's more for like up and down, but that's why you have the waist. So again, for me, that works in getting him into some sweet Skelligod poses. You can see how the joints work underneath his little loincloth here. He can kick out. It does become a little cumbersome, a little hindrance here and there because it's like a heavier kind of plastic. It'll work with you, I think, for what you want to do. If you're putting Skelligod into splits... I don't know about you. You can rotate it at the thigh. He's got double jointed knees and he will also rotate at the lower boot right there at the calf. So nice articulation in the feet. One thing I will say after kind of moving the ball joints around in the feet, he got a little bit loose. So that's kind of a bummer too. The head, you can pop off no problem. You want to take the armor off? I'm sure everyone's going to ask about this, so I'm just going to do it. You can remove this cape. At first, I thought there were magnets on the back of this. You can see where they kind of will put on extra pieces and straps. It's not magnets. This just kind of hooks onto this cape right here. This extra ethereal green piece, you can pop off too. You can take off the armor. You can leave the cape off. That looks cool as well. You can pop the head back on. Although I think the armor adds a little bit of brevity to it. Otherwise, it just looks okay. I would say stick with the armor. You can leave the cape off too though if you'd like. So it's your call. He stands nice. He poses nice. He holds his weapons beautifully it's that cape i just don't i don't know why i don't care for the cape it's just okay the cape is okay i'm a big fan of capes you give me spawn capes that's that's why i've been spoiled right and i love myself cloth cape that's the thing but i just i feel it could have been better the sword on the other hand while he does hold it well is it a little bit too small for his hands what do you think in terms of the pictures and maybe you've picked up the figure I really like the Ecto Blast Spirit Bomb thing, whatever you want to call it. It's cool. But all the different green elements around the Skelligod would have been so cool if it was glow in the dark. I mean, even the extra little accessory, it looks like it's glow in the dark. He's a heavy figure. All my stands and everything, a little bit, <laughs> he's a little bit too heavy for him, but I'm sure you can find one that fits your needs. But other than that, yeah, he's a very interesting, very cool-looking skeleton ram god thing in terms of matching up to He-Man Origins. Yeah, he's eight inches tall, so he's going to be bigger. He's a bigger, bigger figure. He's going to stand over the He-Man Origins. However, the He-Man Origins figure can hold the new power sword. No problemo. So that's cool to see. If you're planning on putting him on poor Panther nope that's that's not gonna work you gotta go for the more revelations scale weapons vehicles all that kind of stuff including cats look at this poor cat he's like get off you can stop this in terms of the old old original skeletor yeah you can see the size difference it's interesting to see how far they've come classic filmation skeletor will say and now netflix skeligod this reminds me of a Marvel Legends figure. It do, especially like a Ghost Rider figure. And I think that if you're interested in pairing him up with Marvel Legends, like how I immediately thought, eh, it kind of looks like Zarathos. So, you know what I mean? Like it's a Ghost Rider villain in some way, especially with the glowing head fire goo or whatever that it turns out to be on the show. If he is on the show, he comes from the comic book originally. We'll see if this guy pops up 
on the show. And no, I don't think he was in the trailer, but dang, he goes well with Ghost Rider figures. Now, I didn't collect He-Man until He-Man Origins, so I don't have any of the old Mattel stuff, and I don't got the Super 7 stuff, but I do have this, and I'm sure he was not making this up whatsoever, since I got him in Mexico. This original He-Man <laughs> figure prototype yeah okay i just i had to have it. this was sitting there one of those like weird shops but uh, yeah uh, it's like i said he's eight inches tall he'll go i think perfectly with the other mattel super seven style he-man classics and then yeah if you want to put him next to castle grayskull the thing i like most about this figure is that he's so different looking he's just a very cool masters of the universe figure and old skeletor is jealous up at the top spawn yeah this guy could be a spawn figure too if you really wanted to go that route i just think that the skeleton face the ram horns just the armor itself lends itself to a lot of different variety if you didn't want to keep him for masters of the universe and you can put him with donatello too for my money <laughs> this is a very cool figure this is cool to see a new character a new line it's always fun to kind of go through them look at the boxes look at the articulation look at the weapons i would say my nitpicks aside i think you'll be very happy with this figure Especially if you have been into Masters of the Universe for years and years, if you like the 200X stuff, or you're just new to the brand, like me, basically, with He-Man Origins, and I won't say we'll go with Origins, but you could kind of fudge it in there. I mean, he's such a different looking character. He's a giant, monstrous looking character, so in that sense, he's cool. But stylistically, no, you'll probably want to keep him more with Masters of the Universe Revelation. I'm curious to see how the other figures are going to go, how he's going to scale with the other characters, and largely what his role will be in the upcoming Netflix show. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this figure. Will you be picking him up? Have you already done so? And what do you think about the new Netflix television show? Did you know that Bonnie Tyler sung the trailer song? Yeah. I need a hero over and over again in my head. But I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, uh, let's be honest here. For the Filmation series, people, not knocking it. It's just not for me. But this new Revelation trailer, I mean, that's the coolest, I think, He-Man, <laughs> all the characters have ever looked. I mean, they're like punching each other, they're firing lasers at each other, Orko's blocking all kinds of skeleton faces. Come on, this this show is going to be rad. And even if it's not story-wise, it's the coolest I think the characters have ever looked, at least for me. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.